This is the all new from the ground up 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLB 250 4 Matic. Today we're working with our friends at Sears Imported Autos, selling beautiful Mercedes-Benz cars and SUVs. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two guys, guys in a ride. ride. And Nathan, what are we taking a look at today? Today we are taking a look at the brand new Mercedes-Benz GLB 250 4 Matic. That's right, but hey, before we do, if you want to keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, SUVs, and you want to know about how to operate all the technology that's built into these cars, and you love cool collector car stories, take a moment to hit that subscribe button down below and click on the bell notifications up above so you never miss a video. That's right, Nate, so what do you say? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. All right, so today we are in the brand new, re er, nope. brand new All period. brand new. Brand new. Ground up. From the ground up, Mercedes-Benz GLB 250 4 Matic. Yes. And, uh, boy, I tell you, that 4 Matic is sure-footed. Is it really? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, but uh, getting in in and out, both sides, front and back, uh, very easy. You know, um, I stepped into it at the dealer to bring mm -hmm. it up to the front, yep. and I went to step up and, and and didn't need to. No, it's it's really got a nice height to it. Yeah. Um, and we'll overlay a few videos here of getting yeah. in and out, and you'll see that. But it is really nice. So the ride itself is really comfortable. Um, I've I've got it right now just set in sport mode. But even with that, the suspension is eating up the bumps. Uh, um, the steering is, you know, nice and firm because it's in sport. But yeah, really comfortable ride. And the seats yeah. are nice. Now these are eight-way power. Um, and but man, it feels good. I like this. It feels well supported. Does not feel like it's a, a sort of a, an entry-level Mercedes-Benz SUV definitely feels more like something you'd expect for an upper class mm -hmm. um, um, I, I'll, and I'll tell you what uh, the MBUX system makes everything in this car easy to get to because you can do it all from the steering wheel you don't you don't have to worry um, about um, reaching over to grab anything whether it be climate control or heated seats um, so Literally, probably one of the easiest vehicles to, to control everything in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, now, it does have uh, the backup camera. So, if you are backing up into a parking lot or a, a parking stall or a garage or whatever, really easy. Really easy. Tight, small, small footprint. So, you know, easy to maneuver around, driving around town. All right, so at this point, I am sadly gonna pull over and let Moron drive. <laughs> so if you let me drive this, I'll let you call me Moron. This is a really cool car. It's fantastic. Okay, so the fella that just took out in front of me just got all squirrely and almost did a, a 360 and I pulled right out of there with this 4 -matic. and he's got a four wheel drive. Uh, I just pulled right out of there with this 4 -matic. Sensibly, yeah, it is really solid. And yeah, just, and I, you know, I've got a Mercedes and I love that formatic all wheel drive. But, you know, talking about, um, let's talk about the interior a little bit. Uh, it's quiet. Yeah. Well, until he talks. Uh, <laughs> that's just noise. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what we talk about. It's how noisy it is in here. But it's a very quiet vehicle. I love the interior fit and finish. And mm -hmm. one of the points on this, Nathan, you just said it a second ago is you are in an entry-level SUV for Mercedes-Benz. Watch it. Okay, it didn't say it. Okay. For Frank Benz. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it doesn't feel like it. You know, we've driven the GLE, uh, the GLC, and the big daddy, the, the S-Class, the GLS, 
and this feels every bit as nice and screwed together and the fit and the finish the quality of materials you've got the mbux you got this big giant screen i love the retro look of the round knobs all that really leads to the air of a much more expensive suv than this is this one um stickers at right around uh what forty five thousand. wow yeah and I, I like the, the bulges in the hood out front. I like the squareness, the upright of the A pillars. It just leads to an open, airy cockpit. Now, acceleration, we can talk, I'll talk about that a little bit in my outside review. I'm not going to be able to really give it a lot of gas today because, like I said, we are on icy and snowy roads. And I don't want to see how well the tow hook works on this vehicle to see somebody coming to tow us out of the ditch. So we're just going to say, yeah, we'll cover that later. Um, you know, again, we're talking about uh, some of the features on this vehicle, safety features. You know, guys, it's a Mercedes Benz. Uh, and cool, look at this. A uh, G Wagon just passed us. And this reminds me a lot of a baby yeah, we got G Wagon. The yeah. stopped and he looked, looked at us. <laughs> How about that? How about that? As we're eyeballing his G Wagon, he's eyeballing our new GLB. And I got to put this down. It's a little bright. There we are. But um, safety systems on this. You, uh, uh, adaptive cruise control, blind spot, rear cameras, uh, cross alert, cross traffic alert, um, you know, automatic stopping. You, so many things. I can't even name them off the top of my head that are on this vehicle that are just super, that make you feel uh, secure in driving this vehicle. And it's really cool. So uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I really didn't think I was going to, being that it is the entry-level Mercedes-Benz um, SUV. But I am really enamored with this. Uh, up next, we've got my outside review, followed by Nathan's interior review. And then we're going to cut a separate video, too, because we want to show you uh, not only the MBUX, but also the interior of this vehicle, because it is all brand new you haven't seen this vehicle before so we'll have a separate video of that and we'll post a link in our description below and in a little banner up top so stay tuned keep watching the focus on versatility is very visible in the design of the new glb the boxy suv has a large greenhouse with the a pillars set far forward affording the front seat passengers plenty of headroom now the upright d pillars helps the GLB maximize its cargo capacity. Well, in contrast to the sleeker SUV designs that are out there that are just kind of curved and swoopy. Now, the GLB also serves up a very long 111.4 uh, inch wheelbase for its footprint, and that's designed to deliver a smooth ride and free up space on the inside uh, to stow as much cargo as possible. This is the all-new 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLB 250. This particular one is stickered at 49,020 and is presented here in mountain metallic gray with a black MB text interior. Now, power comes from a two liter uh, inline four turbo with direct injection with echo start stop. It produces 221 horsepower, 258 pound foot of torque. There is full-time 4MATIC all-wheel drive, and it's driven by an 8-speed automatic transmission. Now, out front, we do have the fully automatic projector beam LED high and low beam headlights, and you also do have daytime running lights, and, uh, excuse me, daytime running lights and the headlights also have the delay on and off feature. You have the front fog lights, the body colored front bumper with the metal look rub strip and uh, on the uh, fascia, and you've got the black bumper insert there below. Also, you do have the chrome grill with the grill bar, and I really like that design. Uh, optional is you can get an illuminated star as well. We don't have that on this vehicle, but that is an option, really cool option. It looks great at night. And you do have variable intermittent wipers. Let's take a look along the side. Now along the side, it does have electric power assist, speed sensing steering. You do have permanent locking hubs, four wheel uh, anti-lock disc brakes, 13 inch front and 12.6 inch rotor. 
Now the front suspension is McPherson strut suspension with uh, coil springs and you've got double tube gas pressure uh, shock absorbers with a tubular torsion bar. Now out back, you do have an independent multi-link suspension with coil springs and you've got single tube gas pressure and uh, shocks and tubular torsion bar. Now on this vehicle, you do have the 19 inch 10 spoke uh, wheels with matte black accents wrapped in P235 50R 19 all season tires. This vehicle also does have uh, perimeter approach lights and it does have the really cool LED logo projection that when you open the door, you've got the Mercedes-Benz emblem at the bottom. This does have the black body side cladding and black wheel trim. You also get keyless go and remote start. You have the body colored power heated side mirrors with manual fold and they do have the integrated turn signals as well. You also have the body colored door handles and I like the chrome caps. That's a new design feature with Mercedes and that's really cool. This one does have the chrome or if you will brushed aluminum uh, side uh, window trim as well as it has the uh, front and back black window trim and it does have deep tinted glass. Now, some of the safety features on this vehicle include active brake assist, advanced airbag, um, anti-lock brakes, you've got a forward collision mitigation, which I absolutely love that, it's a great safety feature. You've got the brake assist system, electronic stability program, and so much, much more. Beautiful, beautiful, cuts a nice boxy silhouette, I really like that. Let's take a look out back. Now at back you do have the quasi dual stainless steel exhaust ports uh, with polished their polished tailpipe finishers. You do have the body colored rear step bumper with metal look rub, uh, steel fascia rub strip, really nice looking, and it does have the uh, the black bumper insert. These are the LED tail lights. It does have a rear view camera and it does have a power lift gate. And it is a fixed rear window with variable intermittent wipers and defroster and you have a body colored roof spoiler. Take a look inside and show you the cargo capacity on this. Like I said, it does have the power lift gate. Now, there's a whopping 62 cubic feet of maximum storage space. Now, that outdoes the BMW X1 it outperforms the Audi Q3 and the Volvo XC40. It's even greater in size, cubic feet, than the Mercedes-Benz GLC's 56.5 cubic feet. There's so much space, in fact, that Mercedes even manages to offer a class-exclusive third-row seat option that the company claims is large enough for someone that's five foot six to, to fit there comfortably. That's really cool and you can see with our suitcase there, it gives you an idea of how much space there actually is. Now, some of the available packages on this vehicle are the AMG line. Uh, some of the things that includes are the sport front seats and uh, the chrome diamond block grill. Oh, that's one of my favorite grills, I love it. Also the AMG line with night package that includes such features as the AMG body styling and the AMG sport wheel. Now there is also an, uh, an exterior lighting package that includes active LED headlights. And then there's a premium package and that includes blind spot and keyless go. You also, uh, well there is also another package, it's called the driver assistance package. It includes uh, such cool things, optional cool things as active steering assist and route based speed adaptation. That is so cool that your car knows already before you get there what the speed limit is gonna be for that area. Also, there is the parking assistance package which includes the surround view camera system. Let's talk about the dimensions. Okay, on dimensions, the overall width of the vehicle is 79.5 inches. The front and rear track, 63.2 inches. Now its overall length is 182.4 inches, has a total height of 65.3 inches, and like I said earlier, it rides on a wheelbase of 111.4 inches. It does have a nice ground clearance of 7.9 inches, and actually this vehicle, as boxy as it is, has a coefficient of drag of 0.32. That's not bad at all. Fuel tank is 15.9 gallons. It's curb weight, 3,759 pounds, and its turning circle is 38.4 feet.
Now, on our spade scale, safety, it does have active brake assist, uh, advanced airbag protection system, anti-lock brake system, forward uh, collision mitigation, uh, brake assist, electronic stability program, and so much more. And I listed all those and we'll list all those down below as well in the description. Uh, performance wise, zero to 60 in 6.9 seconds. Top speed, 130 miles per hour. Not bad at all. Appearance. Well, it's chunky but friendly look. Squares up from the front end and doesn't let up. With its upright grille, high hood, and boxed LED headlights, the new GLB looks boxier and more truck-like than even the GLA or the GLC in Mercedes-Benz stable of SUVs. Now, dependability. Bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty, 48 months or 50,000 miles. Powertrain warranty, 48 months, 50,000 miles. Economy. Fuel economy city is 23, 30 highway with a combined of 26. Now, my hits on this vehicle, what I really like, I like the chunky styling. I like the handsome cockpit, which Nathan's gonna show you. And I like that it has standard Apple CarPlay Android Auto. And I love that sliding second row seat. And it's just right sized. Couple of the misses. Well, the third row looks tight uh, and the nicest trim requires lots of options. And blind spot warning isn't standard. Well, to wrap it all up though, the new GLB 250 has the same kind of SUV swagger as the bigger GLS class. Uh, its chassis is related to the A-Class sedan and it feels stout but is lithe enough to give this compact SUV car-like agility. I, I can't say how much it, how, how, really how much fun it was to drive it. This all-new Mercedes-Benz, 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLB 250 is a straightforward, comfortable, and capable SUV. You know, GLB could stand for Great Little Box or Great Little Benz. Either way, the 2020 Mercedes GLB is more than just a gateway to the brand. Well, it's a full-fledged member and one that doesn't remind you that you bought the entry-level SUV. It's the lowest price SUV Mercedes-Benz has. Not bad at all. So with its rich interior, loads of tech, generous cargo space, and refined driving experience, the GLB 250 is destined to be Mercedes-Benz's next big hit. So coming up next, Nathan's gonna take you on a tour of the inside. He's gonna show you all the design features the bells and whistles and the tech and everything that's built into the uh, interior of this new 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLB 250. Keep watching. All right, starting on the inside of the 2020 GLB 250, one of the things that I noticed and I really like is that the door has some contour. Now, other pictures I'd seen of it in videos um, didn't really show this very well, and, and it, it absolutely does have contour. It comes out right here, and then there's another nice line down here, um, and, and I, I just really like it. Um, it was looked more flat to me, but it is not once you see it in person. Now, as far as controls go, you've got your three-person memory setting here. You have an eight-way power seat here. You do have heated seats on both sides, and then you have, of course, your lock-on-lock -lock buttons, and then your auto up and down all four windows. Then up here you have your mirror folding button and then you have your left right mirror controls. Down here you have a uh, trunk release and then you have some bottle storage as well as some extra storage down in here. Now down here you have a uh, four position lumbar uh, that's on the seat itself. So way down here we see the orange handle, that's your hood release. Okay. And then you go cut your pedals, you come up here, you do have a manually adjusting uh, tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And then up here, you've got your uh, parking brake electronic. You do have uh, auto lights on this. So if you turn it once, you get uh, parking lights. Okay, if you turn it again, it's on auto. If you turn it over here, the lights are on. This is your fog lamp here, and then this, uh, when auto lights is on, if you turn this on, this will also turn on your low beam headlights. 
This is your uh, controller here for the dashboard brightness and dimness. Coming up here, of course, you've got air vents. Uh, you do have uh, windshield wiper controls here, as well as your flash to pass, turn signals. Hey, this does have auto uh, rain sensing windshield wipers. Then over here, of course, you've got your standard Mercedes-Benz gear shift. All right, let's get in and start this up. Jeez. All right, so let's start it up. Obviously, it is a push start. It does have the beautiful MBUX uh, 10, about a little over 10 inch screens on each side. Um, and uh, it, it, it's just, oh, what a nice system. Okay. All right, so over here on the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, this is, and the right-hand side are set up very similar to uh, all, all the newer Mercedes. So basically you have a trackpad over here, you have a home key and you have a back button that all control your driver's information center. Then down here you have all of your cruise control settings. Hey, over here on the left, you have the same kind of home trackpad and back button that controls your information center, your, your uh, that controls your infotainment center. Then down here, you've got a phone on, phone off. These are push up or push down, a rotary volume, okay? A push to mute. And then you have favorites down here. If you toggle down and toggle up is voice command, which you can also activate by saying, hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Cancel. So for purposes of this review, I'm gonna to refer to that whole system as Frank because if I say anything remotely close to that, it activates, we'll be saying cancel the whole day. So um, moving on, we've got down here, we've got your, your three air vents, they are backlit, okay, with LEDs, which is really nice. Okay, the, um, down here, you've got all of your physical climate controls, including a physical sync button, which is, I really like seeing that. Okay, down here, a little bit redesigned, you've got these nice LED pipe lightings on the sides, and I absolutely love that. Down here, you have an open storage area, so there is no cover to close. Um, and I, I would imagine if you had a wireless charger in your vehicle, that this is probably where it would go. Okay, coming back here, you've got a uh, USB-C plug-in that it connects you to Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Um, and then up here, you have a 12 volt outlet. All right, coming down to the cup holders here, you've got a couple of things here. Right now they're all the way open, but you notice there's two buttons right here. So if I press this one, it pops this out and gives me a little bit more, uh, a smaller space to store a cup in. So if I have a little smaller mug that I wanna keep secure, I can do that. And one button does each side. Then you just simply push them in and you're, it's back to normal, all right? Moving on back here, you've got shortcut buttons going around here. You've got your, uh, if I push this one right here, you get quick access to different things that are on the infotainment screen. The next button is the star button and that one gives you access to your shortcuts. So they show up again on the infotainment screen. Down here, you've got telephone. So if I hook this, set that, I, that's where I can connect a, a device and I'll show you that in a little bit in another video. If I want just my radio or media, I hit the radio or media button and it goes right to it. This last button would be a, a navigation or a map button. Then up here, you've got a volume up and down as well as a power button for the whole infotainment system and then a mute button, okay? So, Let's move on back here. This is the trackpad for the infotainment system. You got a home key, you've got a back button, and you've got then the trackpad for left, right. This is just now a physical rest for your hand. Hey, moving back a little bit, you got your uh, dual side opening uh, center console here. And did I paper out there? You do have an additional charging uh, USB-C port down here. Now it does slant backwards. You can kind of see my hand. So it's about a finger's width that it goes in and gives you a little more, you know, a little, little deeper storage right there. Okay. It's felt line, so it's very nice. All right. Moving on up here, you've got a glove box, which is dampened and felt lined, and it's lit. Okay, you've got an extra little shelf up here, plus the very deep uh, glove box right there. All right, moving on up. 
on this particular model, we have an auto dimming rear view mirror. And then you have your interior lighting in the front, which is what uh, all these switches up here are for. And then down here, you've got uh, a Mercedes me button to call. You've got an SOS button to call. And then, <clears throat> sorry, cancel. You have Frank's SOS button and you have Frank's uh, Mercedes me button. <laughs> Forgot to say that. And then up here you have your window shade for your panoramic sunroof. So if I hit that, and hold it for just a second. Now, the cool thing is on this particular car, I'm gonna close this again. And if I know if Rob will be able to get that picture, but instead of having one um, shade cover that just slides backwards, it has two shade covers that both meet in the middle. So it's really cool the way that it it opens and then it closes again. I, I really, really, really like that. So I'm gonna open this one again. And then, now that's just by pushing or, or uh, pulling. Then if I go up, yeah, I'm not gonna do that, but that's gonna open up the, the sunroof. Okay, so up here on the visors, they are not telescoping. You do have, however, lit mirrors right here with the light in the roof and a little like a business card holder here. And then the same thing on the passenger side. All right. Uh, other than that, just in the front, I really like how it's laid out. I like, you know, these parts here and the, and the trim right here. It does have that uh, a black piano kind of trim um, around the, the, the air vents and the center console. Um, but otherwise, you know, it's a soft touch material everywhere you look. Very, very nicely laid out. All right. Uh, we're gonna hop quickly to the passenger seat and just take a look at that, and then we're gonna hop in the back. All right, so stepping over to the passenger side in the front, the door's laid out very similarly. You've got a three position memory for just the passenger side, heated seats, three stage, your auto window button, your lock on lock buttons, and then of course a grab handle, a bottle holder, and uh, some extra storage. Now this seat is also eight way powered with four way lumbar. Okay, and then the seat has the same adjustable pull-out support. All right, let's step into the back. All right, so stepping into the back of the uh, uh, GLB 250, um, the back door, one of the things that I like, it has the unlock, unlock buttons on both sides for the rear passengers. Um, other than that, the door is pretty much the same as the front, but again, I really like the shape of the door. Um, as I said earlier in pictures, it looked a little flat. It's definitely not. It's got contour and shape to it, that which I really like. Now both uh, seats I have a net storage in the back of them both driver and passenger you've got your um, air vents right here and this is by the way a dual zone automatic climate control down here a little pull out here you've got a 115 volt uh, outlet and then you have two USB outlets for charging and they are 5 volts as well as some extra storage up here okay so one of the things I like about the seats in the GLB is that, first of all, they're adjustable. So I can go five and a half inches forward or backwards on both sides. This is a 60-40 split. Well, it's a 60-40 split in terms of moving the main parts of the seat, but the rear is split into three. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, first of all, if I wanna recline, I can pull this, this lever here and I can recline or put the seat forward. I can do the same thing with the passenger seat here. If I grab this, now that I can recline that. But the center armrest has its own pull. So I can recline it or put it backwards, which is really nice when you're riding with another passenger who isn't reclined and maybe you want that back or you're just back here by yourself. You can adjust just this part. So they give you a pull rope right there. Now, it does have a center uh, armrest. It does have dual cup holders that of course will expand once you put your cup in. Okay, you can also take the center armrest, pull this, and lay it all the way forward for a little more um, longer arm support if you want, or a way to reach in the back. Now, in terms of headroom and legroom, you, you can see that there is just there's just plenty of headroom. I've got, I've got uh, over an inch of headroom. I have got the seats up uh, about where we had it, maybe a little bit further, but even say if I came back to here, I'm still talking five inches of space. 
and the seats are raised off the ground so you can easily comfortably get your foot way out there and really stretch out and relax so overall just a really really nice interior i absolutely love these rear seats i think they've done them exactly right Okay, one of my many, many favorite things on this new 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLB 250. I absolutely love this little design element right here with this line. It gives it more of that boxy stance, and I love that. It does look like a mini G-Wagon, and that is my favorite thing. Okay, so my very favorite thing is the MBUX system. I just absolutely love this. Easy to use, and it does so much.